Ocean Park. And if the beat live, you know Lil Ju made it. Everything I drop is a hardcore bop. You're born, but I'm far more hot. I give it to you straight every goddamn time, and I break it all down like a cardboard box. Quit trying to be smart, you're not. You ain't got the guts, no heart, or pop. I'm flipping like it's parkour, spitting like a sharp sword. Motherfucker, you don't want to start or stop. Keep your car door locked. I'm <laughs> okay, he eating on this one. This is typical Samson. I think Samson is very good at, like, uh, I think more than anything, Samson wants to show his lyrical capability. So he, he's more of a rapper, succession fire, like, type of rapper. To where like he wants to keep it going, but he also wants to switch it up and kind of let you know like he can, uh, you know, show some style. And his performance is really good in these videos, even though they're like basic. I think he does a really good job, kind of like keeping the attention. It all down like a cardboard box. Quit trying to be smart, you're not. You ain't got the guts, no heart or pop. I'm flipping like it's parkour, spitting like a sharp sword, motherfucker. You don't want to start or stop. Keep your car door locked. I'm coming through your radio. I've been hustling, but don't nobody want to pay me though. I keep it bubbling, and my following's always doubling. But hey, is anybody sending money my way? No, I'm broke. As ah, hey, that gotta be the worst type of love, right? The worst type of love where you got the following, you got all the respect, you getting all of the views, and yet you still broke. Uh. So Samson's like, yo, where the money at? <laughs> like, where the money at? I'm doing all this, you know, name recognition, I'm getting it. Like, you know, but ain't nobody trying to throw money his way. It must be. It must be the lyrical content. Believe it or not, sometimes your lyrical content can mean more than your actual lyrical skill. And people that make it in mainstream hip-hop may not always necessarily be the best artists. Now, a lot of them could be, but not always necessarily. You could be... J. Cole level, you could be Eminem level, you could be Jay-Z level, but if you're talking about the wrong things, if you actually got the wrong message that mainstream media don't want to support, they will skip over you, and then you're forced to be a YouTube rapper or independent artist trying to, you know, get your voice heard, you know, but Samson has that ability, he could have, you know, been something even much bigger, you know, but I guess can't sell out. Motherfucker, you don't want to start or stop. Keep your car door locked. I'm coming through your radio. I've been hustling, but don't nobody want to pay me, though. I keep it bubbling, and my following's always doubling. But hey, is anybody sending money my way? No. I'm broke as a fat chick's bed. I kill tracks. I leave them in caskets dead. But record labels, they would rather act like they're dead. They put on a blindfold and walk past me instead. I'm top nine. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, check, check him out. Gets dead, but record labels, they would rather act like they're dead and put on a blindfold and walk past me instead. I'm top notch, like an iPhone screen. I never say anything that I don't mean. Every time you hear me rap, y'all walk away shaking your head like, damn, how is that guy so clean? It's all sand, bitch. I have no team. I ain't got anybody standing behind no scenes. No one's giving me cash, no one's supplying no green. It's me and no one else that I won't need. Yo, <laughs> yo, I like this. I like this uh, nitty gritty in your face reality. I, it, it, it's kind of sad in a way. Like, I'm sad for it. And the reason I'm sad for it is because of the simple fact that it's hard to actually keep going and keep doing something time and time and time and time again, and it never pays off. Um, a lot of people may think that it's just easy to stand in front of the camera and rap or to make music. But it's probably a whole bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes of editing, making sure the audio is correct, laying the right tracks, time and time again in the studio, trying to make sure it's right, you know, uh, trying to find the right beats or make the right beats or whatever the case may be. And it's like uh, we've gotten to this point where it's good that artists can show themselves off to where, like, you don't need a, mech, uh, a record label or a major record deal in order to be seen and noticed. But you're gonna work a lot harder, and you're gonna it's gonna it's gonna you know not be as easy as somebody with a whole team backing them, and I think that's what Samson is speaking to. Standing behind no scenes, no one's giving me cash, no one's supplying no green. It's me and no one else that I won't need. I'm straight kicking every time I bust. Every time you listen, you gotta rewind it once. It ain't cause you can't understand what I just said. It's just so dope. You gotta remind yourself. A good that line just. <laughs> yo, it's true. It's dope, yo. You wanna listen to it again? Yeah, I, I, yo, I seen a video when Samson was even younger. You seen the guy grow up, but like, yo, it's, it's true. 
Find it once a day cause you can't understand what I just said. It's just so dope. You gotta remind yourself how good that line just was. It ain't too complex. I know just what to do. I'm blessed. I raise my hand when they ask who wants next. I'm up because out of all of you, I'm best. Yes, I got an S dude in my chest cause I'm super. And I don't think you'd want to test if it's true or false. I'm too evolved. Like a smart car crashing into a wall. I won't move at all. I'll never get knocked loose and fall. No matter how much of your crew's involved. I'm just too nuts for you goddamn pussies. So maybe if you grew some balls, you could find a... <laughs> Oh, man. I can't repeat what he just said, but damn, sure, so that was dope. I got a super chat came in. I will get to it, Bird Flesh. Thank you so much for the super chat, and I will get to this next. So I appreciate the love. If y'all watching, you know, check in, live stream. So let's get it. Let's get it. Your crew's involved. I'm just too nuts for you goddamn pussies. So maybe if you grew some balls, you could finally beat me. That shit makes me laugh when I think of it. Fuck all of the cash that you're bringing in. Your song sucks and you sound like ass when you're singing it. People call me up the back because I'm swinging it. People call you a back because you're winging it. I don't care how. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, right? Uh, you know, call him the back because he's swinging it. And they call you a back because you're winging it. Yo, that's, that's good. I, that's a good metaphor. Like, the way he put that together, I thought it was nice. You know, it's simple, but it's nice. When you're singing it, people call me up the back because I'm swinging it. People call you a back because you're winging it. I don't care how many rappers you killed. I eliminate streaks like glass when I'm cleaning it. I demolish rhymes in my sleep. I fuck up all the time when I speak. I say dumb shit, then I call John Cena to help me apologize in Chinese. Y'all walk the line like blind sheep. <laughs> Bitch, I cross the line with my feet. You will not survive because you don't qualify. You'll get tossed to the side. You are not that guy. A madman with the gift of gab. I kick gas every track, get stripped in half. Megan, I don't have a problem with you being half naked. I'm digging the skin like I'm picking scabs. I walk around. <laughs> that man said, I don't have a problem with you being half naked. I'm digging the skin like I'm digging the scab. Yo, bruh, I, I really, uh, the conversation about, you know, sex sales, sex sales, and it's exploited, especially in hip hop. It's exploited. And I mean, it's sad because if you are more talented, but you don't want to, you know, sexualize yourself, you have way harder time making it in the mainstream media as a woman than a woman who's willing to degrade herself and sexualize herself. Uh, they call it sexual freedom. I personally think it's degradation because a lot of young women will look up to that and never, ever have the opportunity to actually be that. But yet they will aspire to be like those women. And you can see it when you turn on social media, the Instagram, Facebooks, and you see how women, you know, dress and how they display themselves. But hey, who wants to marry that? <laughs> Maybe some guy does. But, you know, he just made me, you know. It's ripped in half. Megan, I don't have a problem with you being half naked. I'm digging the skin like I'm picking scabs. I walk around the house butt naked and I stop at every mirror just to stare at my motherfucking mullet. I can't leave the house without a hat because as soon as the bitches see it, I know they're going to want to try to pull it. Hey, I turn heads like an awkward fart. I'll break you in half like a chocolate bar. I'm way too good, but I'm not on billboards. So in more than one way, I'm off the charts. I fucked you. Ooh. Ooh. Taking shots. Saying deadly, straight up, like, yo, just because I ain't on the billboard don't mean I ain't off the charts, really, honestly. Like, uh, if only if only talent was rewarded appropriately, I think the world would be a whole lot different. I really do believe that. Uh, but, hey. Like a chocolate bar. I'm way too good, but I'm not on billboard. So in more than one way, I'm off the charts. I fucked your wife and it was not that hard. I treated the bitch like a shopping cart. I picked her out of line, then I put a load in her. Then I left her on the curb when my car was parked. <sighs> I was kidding about that last line. I always put my shopping cart back where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I really thought going into the song that he was going to be like, uh, it was going to be probably a way to diss Megan the Stallion in a way, but he didn't. He just, I guess he took took the song and made a remix and did his own thing. Because I'm not a piece of shit. Ooh. My singer, FTC, is on all platforms. Like I said, go support these artists if y'all find their music to be valuable. You know, highly, highly, highly recommend y'all go support them. Now, uh, I'm going to give a ranking and a move on. Uh, when it came to the bars, of course, I like Samson. I like Samson, not always necessarily for what he's talking about, but always because I have a good time and fun, regardless of what he's talking about. I think the guy's talented. He doesn't take too much time to actually say what he needs to say, but he remembers to have a little fun, even when he's talking about su tough subjects. When it came to the bars on this one, I think that I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. 
it wasn't my favorite Samson, but it was it was pretty good. It was pretty dope. I think he did a good job. Eight out of ten. When it came to the the beat, I'm not really gonna write the beat. Uh, I, I'm not even sure. I, I never even heard the song Megan Thee Stallion, so I'm not even sure if he used her beat or not. Um, but I'm not going to rank the beat because I don't know if it's his beat or not. And that's just my ignorance on the fact. When it came to the visuals, uh, it's typical Samson. Not too much to work with there, but he did a great job, actually. You know, uh, he he's doing a great job, actually, kind of like, uh, you know, Keeping you interested, even though it's not much going on in the background. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Overall ranking for this song, I think I'm going to give it a strong 7 out of 10. Uh, that's the best I can give this one. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you would like to get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the Hobby Lobby. You can also continue the conversation by joining the Hobby Lobby Discord. You can find all the links in the description below.